Hello everyone. Before I start, I would like to acknowledge the Bidjigal and Gadigal people who traditionally occupied the Sydney coast. And we acknowledge all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander elders, past, present and emerging. I also acknowledge the traditional custodians of the various lands from which our artists reside. And I extend this respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples joining us today. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our announcement of the Waverley Art Prize 2021. It is certainly a complex time for Greater Sydney right now, and I hope everyone is keeping well physically and mentally, following the public health orders, and ensuring you all maintain all the social distancing and lockdown rules currently in place. Difficult times like these, much like creativity and art, generate new ways to bind us together as a community and create a stronger sense of belonging, compassion, care, respect, and appreciation of the exceptional people around us and the amazing city of Sydney in which we are privileged to live. This is the second year we've announced the Waverley Art Prize winners online due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But I am excited to announce that next year, we are looking forward to opening the Waverley Art Prize in our wonderful new Bondi Pavilion Gallery. And with any luck, we will also be able to have a fantastic opening event with a physical exhibition. But thank you so much for turning out for the announcement tonight. This event is such an important cultural marker on Waverley's calendar, pandemic or otherwise. Art is such a fundamental part of the social fabric. It speaks to the time and place of any community, and it has defined our understanding of human history. Art is what defines eras and reflects us back to ourselves as a community and a society. And most importantly, art transcends generations. So while we are now back in lockdown here in Sydney, I hope that this year's announcements while online again, will give some light to our artistic community and demonstrate to our broader community that as long as we continue to support and encourage art and creativity, the future is so very full of promise. For the last 35 years, Waverley Council has recognised, nurtured and awarded our artistic community by way of the Waverley Art Prize. This is an important and long-standing commitment to the arts. We have so many talented artists and writers who live and work in our community, and artistic expression is a very important part of the fabric that makes us who we are. So fostering emerging artists is one of the most important legacies of this prize. And we are all proud of all the artists who have entered over the years. And even with this year's second year in a row shift to a digital finalist exhibition because of COVID, we did receive a staggering 701 entries for the Waverley Art Prize. This is a record breaking number of entries. And I really want to recognise our judges for this year, artists Marissa Purcell and Julian Ma. Marissa and Julian had the unenviable task of shortlisting the 50 finalists you can see in the online exhibition and then selecting the awards. It's been quite a challenge having to whittle the entries down to select one major winner. So thank you again. So tonight though, Council is delighted to be sponsoring five of the categories, the Open Prize, the Mayor's Prize, the Oil Painting Prize, the Mixed Media Prize, and the all important People's Choice Prize. Also, I'd like to thank our loyal sponsors of prizes, Matisse Derivan and the Waverley Willara Art School. Now, one final thing before I announce the winners, Voting for the People's Choice Award is open and you are actually able to vote for your favourite work online. So please be sure to check out the exhibition on the Waverley Art School uh, website and cast your vote. 
It closes on Sunday, the 18th of July. So just repeating, check out the exhibition on the Waverley Willara Art School's website and cast your vote before the 18th of July. And so congratulations to all our finalists and best of luck. Now the prize announcements for 2021. The first prize is the drawing prize winner of $500, which is sponsored by the Waverley Wallara Art School. And it goes to Teo Trelaw for the work 2020 Vision. The mixed media prize winner of $500 sponsored by Waverley Council goes to Annette Bukovinsky for the work Protection Number no. Two. The oil painting prize of $1,000 sponsored by Waverley Council goes to Louise Greswell for her work Untitled Yellow. And the acrylic prize of $500 worth of paint sponsored by Matisse Derivan goes to Luke Kennedy for his work, Summer Twilight. So congratulations to all our winners. Now the Mayor's Prize is selected by the Mayor of Waverley each year. And this year I had the distinct pleasure of selecting the winner. And again, as always, it's not an easy task, but I was pretty inspired by the depth of talent and the detail of the finalist works. And so this year, I'm pleased to announce that the Mayor's Prize of $2,000, sponsored by Waverley Council, goes to Luke Kennedy for his work, Summer Twilight. And the Waverley Art Prize 2021, open prize winner of $15,000, sponsored by Waverley Council, goes to Graziella Guardino for the work untitled. So we have some wonderful winners and again congratulations to everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight and again congratulations to all the winners.